everybody. March is National Cancer Awareness Month, and we want to take a closer look at lung cancer. We're so glad to have Dr. Ashish Tiko Takar with CHI St. Vincent joining me now with more about the importance of lung cancer and screening. Thanks for joining us today. Happy to be here. So, where does lung cancer rank in prevalence in the states compared to other cancers? Well, 13% of all cancers are lung cancers, unfortunately. Hmm. And, um, you know, most people die of lung cancer, and it's a leading cause of death from, from cancers. If you combine breast cancer, colon, prostate together, lung cancer still exceeds wow. deaths uh, among patients. So. so, you know, it's no secret, smoking seems to be the most common cause, but um, what other core risk factors would you say that you see? No, absolutely. 80 to 90 percent of all lung cancers are smoking related, but you have your air pollution, you have industrial pollution, mm -hmm. you have genetic mutations. Uh, women, for example, who don't smoke, if they have genetic mutation, they'll develop lung cancer. Now, the one thing CHI St. Vincent wants to stress, though, is that there are options out there for you when it comes to screening. So what types of screening options are available at the hospital? Yep, so CHI St. Vincent offers um, low-dose lung cancer screening with a CAT scan, okay. and you can get it done annually. The key factor there is you have to be in a high-risk population. So anybody who has smoked for more than 30 years, okay. um, somebody who is currently smoking or have quit in the last 15 years, mm -hmm. and they have to be in the age range of 55 to 77. 55 to yeah, Some okay. cases up to 80 years. Yeah, um, that's, that's a good thing to point out there because some mm -hmm. people at home might be like, who it, should I go in? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and then let's talk about treatment. What kind of options are there for treatment? Well, fortunately now we have many facets of therapy. Um, you have immunotherapy, which is a newer modality of treatment. It unlocks your potential um, in terms of your immune system killing mm -hmm. cancer cells. So that's a big first line therapy that's coming up. And it's true for, for late stages of cancer where there's um, not so many options available as early stage. Early stage you can have surgery performed, targeted mm. radiation performed, late stage you have chemo, combination of chemo and radiation therapy. And of course it just varies on the patient, right? Of course, and then staging is very important and like we talked about, early detection is key. Um, yes. Somebody who, who has metastatic cancer stage four, their chance of living five years is just 5%, mm -hmm. but if it's early stage, it's up to 56%. So there's a staggering difference. If you get detected early, you're gonna live more. Yes, so where can, find, where can people find more information? Uh, uh, absolutely, so they can visit chsaintvincents.com. Okay. Uh, State um, uh, Department of Health has a great website, and of course CDC is a good resource for this. All right. Thank you so much for joining Thank us on the show. Some great information for you. Visit that website and uh, sign up if you can. Okay. We're gonna have a final check of your forecast and your fishing weekly report when we come back.